Hi again, uh, let's continue with the uh, to-do tutorial. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, so far uh, we have uh, we have a simple to-do app and I've started styling it so I have some styles here. And any moment now. Oh, there we go, right. So I've got some styles, some colors here that are set in the app delegate. And uh, right now you can, you know, swipe to delete an item and you can tap on an item. Oh, but the background color here doesn't quite look right. You know, I want a different color there. Um, so this background selected color is set in a selected view. So we can't just set the color that we need to actually create a view for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into app delegate here and you can see here I've got all my um, appearance properties, right? So I have, uh, you know, navigation bar, appearance, and table view appearance. And the table view cell has a special property. I'm going to go to UI table view cell, appearance, selected background view. Okay, and so selected back background view needs to be set to a UI view. And you can check that, hold the option key. And then you can see the cursor turns over a little question mark there when you click on a property or a name. And when I click on this one here, you'll see it opens up and it says that uh, var selected background view is a UI view. Okay. So we need to set this to a UI view. So uh, you know what I'll do to make this easy is I'll make a variable here and I'll call it, you know, um, cell background equals new UI view and we'll just make a new UI view and then maybe cell background will set the background color right so I'll set the background color here and background color you know if we use that option key trick again you'll see that it's a UI color so uh, why don't we take one of the colors here maybe I'll get this um, maybe this dark color number two, it'll be a dark um, gray. So I'll put that there, color number two. And then, then we will we'll set the um, selected background view to cell background. Okay, so that'll give us a default um, background color for all the table view cells in our project. And you could set this in your view controller or in a specific view controller if you wanted a specific you know, background color, selected color for some, you know, table view that was different from other table views. But if we do it here with the appearance property, it's going to be a global setting for the entire app. Let's give that a test. Oh, there we go, right? So there's the, uh, the new selected color kind of fits a little better. Okay, so there you go. That was a simple example using... Um, the selected background view for the UI table view cell.